Thank you, Mr. Cleese. <laughs> Agriculture is a $52 billion business. It uh, employs some 752,000 people. And yet, for some reason, uh, the provincial government is ignoring agriculture. And I have to admit, successive governments have done so. And uh, the first thing that we need to do is to bring agriculture and farmers in Ontario up to a level playing field with our competing jurisdictions. We can talk as much as we want about various policies. If we do not recognize that the reason that our agricultural industry is dying it's because they cannot compete with Quebec and Alberta and neighboring U.S. states where, in fact, the governments of those jurisdictions are providing supports for the agricultural industry that we don't. We're essentially leaving our farmers who have invested everything they have in their land, in their buildings, and their machinery. We're leaving them to fight the battle on their own, but we've got billions of dollars to put into the auto sector and I ask the question, why? I say to you, the first thing we have to do is ensure that our agricultural industry has the same level of support as our competing jurisdictions. Yeah. And then yeah. we have to strip the red tape and the unnecessary regulatory burdens that are suffocating farmers right across this province. We have to, and I'm glad to hear that Tim is supportive of a property bill of rights. I have stated that from the very outset of this campaign, and it's an absolute necessity. And then we have to ensure that there is no such thing anymore in this province as expropriation without fair compensation, and taking farmers' lands out of production for whatever reason without giving them any compensation. We need a true agricultural commitment on the part of this government, and I will do that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, bye.